Uh, very quickly, uh, I, I'm in Valentine, Nebraska right now. And by the way, going back to Mark's talk, uh, Mark, were you there when uh, the Adler did uh, the uh, Pawnee show? Just um, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that was my show, Jack. I, I produced and uh, directed that show. Uh, excellent, because that show was about the Pawnee where they were living was in Nebraska. In fact, they were living right. all around where I used to live. Uh, there are uh, 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 places that you can go in eastern Nebraska, which I have just driven through, uh, to, uh, to actually see some, see some real sites. When we ran the show, we had really great cooperation from the uh, Native American Center there in, in Lincoln. And unfortunately, that mm -hmm. planetarium is, well, right now closed for who knows how long. So they, they can't, I understood Michelle did a, a digital version. So uh, she did. At, at any rate, uh, one of the things about the prairie skies is they're dark. The image that you're seeing right now is one that was taken out here at the Nebraska Star Party. That's really the sky here, uh, taken with a fisheye that I loaned to a really excellent astrophotographer. If I want to play around with it long enough, you could see. If you look up over on the left there, there's Comet Neowise uh, from a year ago. But um, I, I usually come back to Nebraska for the Star Party. I'm the uh, speaker's chair, and we'll get into that a little bit, but first, uh, I want to go back to Fremont, which was, of course, uh, in, in the area where the Pawnee were. Uh, and my mentor, Dr. Looniehainer, uh, I and Ken Murphy and uh, some others spent uh, two days uh, working on that planetarium. We did two sh public shows for them. Uh, the place doesn't have a permanent director right now. But that's where I got my start. And should I say it? 1966, okay. And uh, you see Dr. L there working on his Planet Vista slide system. One of the things he did was to create a slide panoramic system, but not just down at the horizon. It was uh, quite a few degrees up, but he did it all uh, by hand. You can see the masks on the slides. Uh, this was before Spitz came out with a by projector system that they had later. We think they got the idea from him. But anyway, just to show you what happened, there's the, the, the slide frames. And if I do this, I took them and digitally uh, took a bunch of the slides, digitized them and put them together and put them into full dome so that there's a little piece that they have they can run there at the theater now uh, that, that actually duplicates the approximate um, size of the image on the dome uh, that Planet Vista had. And uh, Doc did all this photography out west. So he loved to go to the uh, natural uh, uh, national parks and, and so on, because he, besides being an astronomy geek like us, he was also a geologist and he loved to use these in teaching geology. And so I and others have felt it was a good thing to do what we could to help that, uh, that planetarium. Uh, it's in beautiful condition. And one of the things we did was, uh, besides we put in a mirror system, you can see on the dome, uh, Ken Murphy installed open space. And there you see it on the dome from the mirror. Uh, it actually looks pretty darn good. Um, and uh, he, so he took people on a trip around the universe here uh, last uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, there's the theater with the audience. Uh, we had a full house of 70. There's the uh, A3 is still there. It has an LED star lamp that I got donated. So uh, it still has that, the curtain. Uh, I could go on at length about uh, the, the color scheme of that room that, that Doc uh, came up with. Uh, in, the, in that era of planetariums, they all had black walls because they wanted it really dark. And Doc said, that's depressing. Make it earth tones. And he did. Uh, this is looking back at the audience kind of that day. I don't know how well it shows up. Uh, uh, we had laser projectors too. So I did a laser show that I created to Tom Petty uh, in the evening. And there's the Midland logo. And uh, 
So I'll quickly move on, watching my time, to everybody's seen this kind of photograph, right, of, of the uh, United States, or at least North America at night. And I, my cursor won't go there, but you'll notice there's a big, dark black hole out there in the middle of, of uh, the country. That's where we are for the star party. Uh, there's a little town called Ainsworth, about 50 miles east of here, that you come through uh, on the highway, as I just did. They took down the sign, my favorite sign, some radio station had put up that said, welcome to the edge of nowhere. Well, guess what? Nowhere is really great for astronomy because it's dark. The nearest Walmart to us here in Valentine is 250 miles. So it's dark and that's why it's the way it is. There's a drone shot of some of the people out there, uh, some camp, uh, they set up their scopes and so on and uh, uh, just make a week of it. And under these, it, if any of you know about the Bortle scale of darkness of, uh, for light pollution, Merritt Reservoir is Bortle scale one. Uh, one of our three speakers, or one of our speakers here uh, tomorrow is the president of the IDA, uh, Dan Knutson. So I'll get to that in a minute. Another pair of speakers we have, maybe some of you recognize them, uh, Susan and Chu from uh, Kenya, and that's in their planetarium. And I we did a test zoom uh, day before yesterday, and there they are in their planetarium. Look what the look, what I think is cool is look at the walls. They have curtains. It's open, so you can get ventilation in and out. And there's the actual planetarium. It even has an opening at the top. So that's going to be cool. There are first speakers via Zoom. Second speaker is. Uh, Dan Knutson. Third speaker is Rob Landis from NASA. You probably run into him somewhere. Uh, and he's flying his airplane up right as we speak, uh, headed for Valentine. But it's a place for dark skies. Um, and uh, honestly, if you've been on the coast and never been any place else where there are truly dark skies, you should see it. It's, it's better than a planetarium. I hate to say it because no planetarium can be like that. Uh, and uh, the other thing is that uh, uh, we are applying uh, for Merritt Reservoir to become a uh, international dark sky, not just place, but a dark sky sanctuary. And we hope that's going to go through. So I'm pretty much at the end of the line. How about that? I think I made it within the time. And uh, other than that, um, I'm just glad to finally be stopped being off the road. Uh, when I first signed in, I was actually driving along and I was listening and uh, then I lost signal, but I got it back later and then lost it again. And so now I'm actually in a hotel where I can uh, do this for you. So at any rate, any questions, anything else, come out to the star party sometime. You'd appreciate it. And I can't see the other chat, so. How many folks are they expecting at the star party? Jack? We are, we have 300 registrants, uh, which is actually up. There was very definite, they had to cap it uh, because uh, uh, so many people wanted to come. Uh, we're a little worried about that for certain reasons, but trust me out here in Cherry County, uh, incidents of, of COVID are, are pretty low because in this county, there are eight times more cows than people. And apparently cows don't pass along COVID. How many telescopes do you think? A couple hundred then, huh? Um, depending on what people bring. We have, it's built as a family event and they do a big field school, uh, which they've been doing over at the high school auditorium for beginners. So they're a good number of scopes. We have what's called Dob Row, which is where people with their big Dobsonians go. Um, and then we have a separate area for the astrophotographers who, so that they can stay away from people wandering around with their flashlights and laser pointers and whatever. And, uh, and we do have a uh, lighting policy that after a certain time, you can't like drive your car around with the lights on and that kind of stuff. But uh, anyway, tomorrow are our speakers here in town and uh, 
that's my job. So uh, the, the thing about the Star Party is it's now 22 years old. Um, and uh, as people find out about it, it's been uh, really interesting to see them get out there. And especially for, no, for people who've never even seen the Milky Way, the first time it gets dark and they see it, it's just incredible. But anyway. So one see, question, I stayed one, one question in the chat area. Did you say you were near a lake? Uh, yes. Merritt Reservoir is a very large recreation lake uh, that is, uh, so there's camping, boating, fishing, all that kind of stuff out there. Uh, the, uh, and by the way, we've had very definite talks with the park department to make sure they don't install uh, obnoxious lights around the lake and uh, they, they had one that was obnoxious and we've got them to change it. There's a follow-up question. Do you have uh, problems with humidity? No, because we're in western Nebraska, not eastern Nebraska. As you go west, less humidity. It's not huge elevation, but it is much less humid here than back in my old area in, in Lincoln or Omaha. Uh, it's, it's, it's not, it's, there's humid, but not, it ain't South Carolina like where I'm from now, trust me. <laughs> uh, however, uh, there are plenty of mosquitoes, so I'm taking my off. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't see any other questions in the chat. Anyone else have any questions? Oh, I have a, a something to tell but it's not official. I'm not, I can't speak for anybody, but uh, who's, who's PPA president now? Carl Von Onen. Carl, well, anyway, pass along to Carl. And I know Carla knows the uh, SEPA meeting next year will be in Huntsville at the Rocket Center. And, and uh, uh, presidents talk to Dave Weigel. Maybe he might entertain uh, uh, because somebody already asked me if they entertain uh, having uh, uh, whack meet with them. Think about this banquet dinner underneath the Saturn V. <laughs> sounds go. good. As long as the engines don't go. All right. <laughs> hey, okay. thank you, Jack. You bet. Always a pleasure.